Xbox 3X. In this video, I'm going to explain, I'm probably going to do one on mouse shapes, what pre and post travel are, um, sensor performance, and just other mouse concepts in general, and what they all are. So this is going to be ergonomic versus ambidextrous mice. You might have heard this term thrown around. So an ambidextrous mouse, quite simply, is one that's sort of parallel. Like if you cut it, cut it in half, it would be the same on both sides, with the exception of the side of it. So this is ambidextrous. If we put it here. You can tell. Actually, this might be slightly ergonomic. There is the only um, a good example of like a truly ambidextrous mouse. Razor Viper, which has, this is truly ambidextrous, there's side buttons on both sides. It's If you cut this in half, not, not to PCB itself, of course, but like if you cut this in half shape-wise, it would be the exact same on both sides. So, yeah, side buttons on that side, side buttons on that side. Yeah, Razor does that, and I think some other companies do, like Zowie, and Logitech did it on the original G, like... But so with the death header essential, you know, this shape well is not like that. It's ergonomic. So put your hand on it, it's not gonna be like sort of straight on like this. Like this, my hand is gonna be sort of straight on generally. This my left and right finger are gonna be in different places generally. And so are my back fingers. That's the simplest explanation I can give. And it and um, generally, most people who play competitive shooters prefer ambidextrous mice because they sort of feel like you have more control. Uh, people with more casual play might perform ergonomic because they're just more comfortable, um, in general at least, because you're not like you can sort of rest your hand on it. Um, with an ambidextrous mouse, you just sort of hold it like this, which in some cases cannot be very comfortable. Um, it is personal preference, though. So, um, <laughs> It's not like, I don't think there's one mouse type that's um, objectively better than the other. Um, there's some, like, and, you know, shapes can be very different. So this is the MX518 shape. And most ergonomic mice are generally set up for Paul. Not not all of them. Some of them are just way too small. But, uh, like, yeah, this is set up for Palm. This is set up for Palm. I try to Palm grip this. It just doesn't really work. You, it's way too flat. But, it's not like you, there's any on it. I can palm grip this, like, it's not, you can still, it generally doesn't, um, there's not, like, grips that you can't do on an ambi mouse, but an ambi mouse is just symmetrical. So think of it like holding a, um, I'm trying to think of a comparison. Okay, like your, not your phone. But let's say you, um, like a controller, and the same on both sides. And if you held an ergonomic controller, it might be more comfortable, but you could lose a little bit of controllers. It, shape is not easy, but yeah, that is what people mean by ergonomic and ambidextrous, if you didn't know that. Um, me personally, I prefer... Really, I don't have much of a preference, oddly enough. Um, I used to really not dislike ambidextrous shapes because I wasn't using like larger, large enough ones. Um, I feel like if ambidextrous shapes, I can aim better, but with ergonomic shapes, um, you know, except for, but it just because it's ergonomic doesn't actually mean it's comfortable like this. Um, at least just to me, at least. This is pretty comfortable as well. Yeah, ergonomic mice are just. There's not one that's more comfortable than it, but generally I prefer ergonomic mice um, in some cases. But also, ambidextrous mice, the weight balancing is at least in theory going to be better. Although, it is possible for an like a ambidextrous mouse to have terrible weight balancing and an ergonomic one like to have good one, good weight balancing, although they generally don't. And I think that's it.